defining the average value of a function provides a nice application of area under a curve. So say we have a function, we'll assume for now it's not negative on some interval from A to B. And you want to define the average value of this function. One way to think of this would be to think of this curve as a lid and this region as being filled with water. And the lid is keeping the water in place. What happens if you remove the lid? Well, then this water up here will splash down and the water will lie in a pool now with a flat surface. And we define the average value to be where that flat surface lies. Now, when we took the lid off, we didn't change the amount of water. So this shaded region and this shaded region are the same. The area under the curve on this interval. And now basic geometry tells us that this, the area of a rectangle, is the base of the rectangle times the height of the rectangle. Rectangle, and therefore dividing both sides by this, one divided by B minus A times the area under the curve on the interval from A to B equals the average value of the function on the interval from A to B. Of course, we're pretty limited in what we can do with this at the moment. We've defined the average value of a function, but we don't know how to find the area under a curve. So, hmm. however, we will learn how to find the area under a curve, at least in theory, before the end of the semester.